Slim fit. Yeah. You've got a thing about your weight at the moment, haven't you? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Look at that. I was just th I came into rehearsals before and I saw there was a side shot. And I thought, I've got to keep me on. Can, do, can I go back to that camera? I'm going to keep me on there for all of that. <laughs> well, we could just stay on that camera if you like. Triple, all the triple chin. Oh, yeah, all right. See, but you see, it's not, it's not how you look, it's who you are, Rob. It's, it's what's inside and not what's outside that counts. OK, well, you're in the mood to talk, aren't you? Yes. OK, let's talk then. Uh, did take that split up because they thought you were going to spill the beans on them in court? Well, I, I, d I don't know. Um, I've read in many different things that that was the case, but would I do something like that? Would I? I mean, would I? I mean, would I? I might! <laughs> Then you see, it was like this. <laughs> Were you going to spill the beans on him in court? Was I going to spill the beans yep. on him in court? There was nothing that spilled. The dispute in court wasn't about me and take that. It was about um, me and the record company. But see, the thing is, I love the boys. Oh. Yeah, bunch of subjects. <laughs> Did you stop them bringing out the greatest hits album? Was that because of you? I just put something right there. It wasn't that I was stopping anything coming out. It was just that um, I, the greatest hits, obviously, I sung on all of the greatest hits. Oh. Yeah. 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 So I, I, I just wanted to see what was going in the album right. and um, what was the, the art design was about. And, that's all I was asking. OK, but they brought it out. They said that you stopped them, that, that you were causing them problems bringing out that Greatest Hits album. Is that right? No, I did, yeah. You did? <laughs> top, top work, Rob. Top work. <laughs> Excellent. Are they stopping you from bringing out well, your new single? It's a bit daft, really, because they've got the royalties to come in on it. No, you've got, that, you've got right? a lot of royalties to come in. About half a million quid, I read. Is that right? I think so, yeah. Don't, so. Believe, don't believe what you read. It's a million. A million. <laughs> <laughs> Are they stopping you from bringing out a single now? Because I know, I know you've got stuff ready. Due to um, things that I can't talk about. Yeah. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not uh, anything to do with take that. Unfortunately, I, I, do you know what? It's, it always worries me coming on the television programmes to do anything, interviews and stuff. But what really worries me is when my lawyer turns up. <laughs> <laughs> Can somebody give Robin's right. lawyer a large whiskey, please? <laughs> it's all right. Well, I'm not going to say anything about the record company. <laughs> okay. I will. It's, OK, it's not take that, but you are having problems releasing your single, aren't you? Yes. OK, can, can you tell us why or not? Because I know why, but... Because I haven't recorded anything. <laughs> no, but also... No, no, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm actually... I've been in... I've been, I'm in the studio, I've written about 30 songs. Right. And uh, I actually can't I, say why no, I'm having no, troubles, but... Okay. Um, but... I don't me. want you to say anything you're going to get in trouble for, so don't do that. No, no. It's... Go as far as you can, Go and, then, and then back up. OK. All right. Uh, Am I allowed to say why you can't bring your single out? Chris, I... I... <laughs> Up to you. No, I can't. <laughs> what we'll do is we'll take legal advice on that from your lawyer, seriously, and in okay. part two, if he says it's all right, I'll tell you why. You can't okay. Bring it OK, yeah. what did your letter to the Sun say yesterday? Your open letter in the Sun. My open letter? It was yep. just, um, it just said, why don't we get together and do a show, do it all for charity, and give something to the fans, because you see, um, I feel a bit aggrieved that I didn't have a proper ending when I left Take That, that I didn't have a chance to say, I don't want to come all cross all bros no, or anything. But I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. That rhymes, put that in a song. Yeah, actually I have. Oh, right. But um, I want to say, I want to say thank you very much for people that put me there and um, adios. Okay. And see in the future career. But they're saying you, uh, you did it very publicly in an open letter in the sun. Mm -hmm. Either A, because they wouldn't talk to you, or B, because you wanted to get publicity out of it. I mean, what's the truth? Well, see, the thing is, Robbie as a character is uh, an absolute tabloid maniac anyway, so don't leave my profile rising in any way. I didn't do it for a publicity stunt. I asked their, their John Preston, the, the guy at their record company, did I say there then? <laughs> the guy at the record company. Um, it's supposed to be your record company. Oh, well, yeah, the guy, the guy at the record company, and I don't think he put it to them, so I wanted to do it public anyway because... You wanted to make sure they knew, basically. I just wanted to, oh, right, okay. and I like seeing me in the press. <laughs> What did they say in the reply last night that they issued? Uh, I don't know, blah, blah. They didn't what come was the gist of it? Well, the gist was there was only one reason that their manager doesn't like me. So that was the only reason. There's nothing, I mean, it's, do you know what I mean? There's no other reason, but uh, we don't like Robbie. Uh, but aren't we bigger than that, boys? Well, but... Yeah. There were a are we bigger than that? Yeah. There were a couple of quotes, though, from Gary and Jason, weren't there? And uh, Nigel Martin-Smith, the manager you're talking about, I'll take that. Is it true that he's still sending you invoices, charging you for his management? 
Well, the thing is, he hates me, but he loves taking the money off me. <laughs> but you, have you, can you fire him as a manager, or are you not allowed to do that? I've got a new manager that I love and trust dearly. It's Tim Abbott, he's over there. So I've got my new manager, and my contract ran help with um, Nigel yeah. uh, last year. <laughs> <laughs> but you're still sending new invoices, is that true? Yeah, yeah, but... I, I don't, I don't know, I, I have, I've got, I've got a lawyer and all that. I don't know, I don't want you to get in trouble. Don't no, I'm not getting in trouble. Okay. Yes, he has sending me invoices and, um, should I pay? Should I pay? Oh! I'll take you all out for a round if I don't have to pay. Yay! Yay! It's free in here anyway, you fool. <laughs> so, how do you feel about, let me, how you, let me ask you how you feel, A, about Nigel Martin Smith at the moment. How do you, can you sum up how you feel about him? Uh, there's not actually a lot that I could say about Nigel. Uh, <laughs> this, it's like... <laughs> Alright, okay. All right. What can I, what can I say? I think we've found I, a legal I, loophole. That I, was fantastic. I, I love the guy. Okay, now what do you, <laughs> what do you think about, uh, about Gary Barlow? Because he said something yesterday that wasn't very nice at all. Yeah, well, he, the funny thing was, right, he said, he said, when I, this is what I read in the Arena magazine, he said, because uh, I read things like that. It said, um, when I saw Robbie at the MTV Awards last time, oh, should I say, when I saw Robbie at the MTV Awards last time, he, uh, he changed. He wasn't the same person that uh, we knew. His hair was different and his ears had grown. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, yeah, I can, well, my hair grows because it grows, but ears always stay the same. G Gary Barlow said today in today's Daily Mail, he said, Robbie hurt us, and until now we were afraid to say, but Robbie, you're a dickhead. Well, how do you feel about that statement? Well, I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's obvious everybody can read about it. I am. You're not putting anything out. Do you think, they've been, um, do you think they've been advised to come out and say, OK, this is what we're going to... I mean, Jason Orange said, it's a cheap trick to get sympathy and public support. I mean, how do you feel about Gary and Jason and Mark and Howard now? Well, you see, it's obvious that if you're dictated and conditioned for so long into a certain regime that you're going to carry on with the same thing. And the boys, bless them, don't know any other, any, anything different to what they're in. Do you still think they've been told what to say? I don't, I don't believe for one instance that being told what to say, there's nobody going, you say this, you say that, but there's somebody guiding them around it. Now, there's somebody guiding them to tell what they've got to say. Bearing in mind all that's happened, right, and uh, do, you, do you regret... <laughs> I just want a yes or no from you now, Bob. Do you regret leaving Take That when you did? Yes no. or no? No. No, no I, I didn't leave, it was sacked. Yeah, I know, no. it doesn't matter how you left. How's yeah. But would you have preferred to have been there and done a farewell tour without leaving? Because it was only six well, months I would have loved. I would have loved to have done the tour. Right. I was going to leave uh, at Christmas. I would have loved to have done the tour. So you're still happy that you left? I'm, I'm, I'm re I couldn't be more happy than I am now. I'm doing my own thing. Right. I'm writing my own stuff. Um, I'm... Sh I can't <laughs> you're in love at the moment, anyway, aren't you? You're jacking your girlfriend. <laughs> I better mention that. All right, uh, All right, well, good luck anyway. So uh, you got, uh, we've got to wrap up now. We've already gone over time. 20 seconds. What are you going to do in the next three months? Uh, there's going to be singles out. I'm going to be in films. I'm going to have got my own line, line of clothes out. Um, <laughs> I'm painting and decorating. Everything that I've just said, everything I've just said, apart from the, uh, apart from the, the music, was lies. Robbie Williams, everyone. Yeah!